So one day I took a thousand degree knife to a giant rubber band ball as well as a bunch of other random stuff. And remember, do not attempt anything you see in this video at home. I'm a pro. And the first place I went was the pawn shop to try to get a knife to light on fire. What's going on? How much? What are you up to, Dylan? Looking for these, actually. Knives? Well, I just happen to have some knives here. Then I told them I needed. Whatever is going to light on fire. I'd say this one for sure. How are you going to light it on fire? Like, a, I got a torch right here. <laughs> you want to light it with a torch? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. See what it does. And after he got it hot, he broke some rubber bands with it and then put some Germex on it and watched it sizzle and I was like, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get it. And he wanted me to be sure and clarify because I'm 17, he had to sell it to my friend for legal reasons. And here you go, free Chick-fil-A sandwich. Oh, that's a deal. Go. Sweet. So then I went to Walmart to get stuff to cut in half with a thousand degree knife, including a bunch of rubber bands to make another rubber band ball, a bat, a watermelon, a pineapple, and some other stuff. Got my machete here. Oh. Got from Pond Man himself. And we're gonna slice some stuff. We got a bunch more stuff we're gonna do tomorrow, but for right now, we're gonna do this stuff. I'll try this at home, but I'm gonna. And a lot of people, they've been commenting like, Dylan, you're just doing 2015 YouTube trends. And to those people, I say, shut up. What do you know? I'm doing it better. I'm better. <laughs> no, I'm just, I've got two knives here. This one, five dollars at clearance aisle, and then the pawn shop machete. Heat them both up and see which one cuts better. Starting with the clearance aisle knife that I heated up and then took into the watermelon. Holy crap! I think the water cooled it off. That's crazy though, because when it's hot, it goes right through. But when it's cool, it's like. Ugh, ugh. I bet this thing will do better. And heated up the machete as well, and it went right into the watermelon, even easier. Holy crap! <laughs> Sizzled right through. And here I can be seen basically just going ballistic on the water. I'm gonna try it. Tastes a little gross. But it's probably not healthy. Whoa. I still have a baseball bat. Oh, it's smoking. It's melting the plastic. Melted. Ooh, it's like a game. Oh. A game that I was really bad at and couldn't get to work for the life of me until eventually I got it. Do not. Ah, why is my heating up. Oh, stepping on a hot coal. I was like, why, why is my foot heating up? That's gonna slice right through that pineapple. And indeed it did, going right through it. Just like that. SpongeBob is cut up. Let's cook the pineapple. That is cooked pineapple. Look at the difference. And the pineapple was pretty cooked looking, so I decided That's to weird. lick it. The infamous flex tape from Bill Swift. Going right through it. Well, it cut through it. Kind of anticlimactic. Next up, Mr. Robot. Trying to take over the world, but we're not gonna let him. Ooh. Next, I got out the flaming machete to go against the apple. I hit it a few times and it split. Ooh. That's some cooked apple. You'd have to give me a lot of money to eat that. Then I moved on to this tennis ball that I almost got to catch on fire. And with a lot of sighing, I eventually split the ball in half. That smells awful. Huh. <laughs> it went right through it. We're gonna get this more extreme. Said I was gonna be better than everyone, so I got it. Flaming Fruit Ninja. What the heck? Whoa! It's actually so much fun. Cause it's like sizzling and it just goes right through it. Definitely don't try this at home though. Then I got out another kitchen knife to go against the bad movie. Oh, we're about to go through the freaking day one. Nobody liked the emoji movie anyway. We're gonna do the oobleck pull now. I've been meaning to clean it up, but eh. Holy crap. That's so weird. It smells awful. The water like started sizzling. All right, we're out here in the jungle. All we have is our flaming shmetty. Shmetty. Uh, uh, I would not survive out here in my backyard. I mean, hot knife versus tree. And then it was time to make another decent sized rubber band ball to cut in half with the flaming hot knife. And I already have like a 300 pound rubber band ball, but I don't want to cut that one in half, so I'm just building this one. I built it for quite a while until I had it looking like this. I've officially got the rubber band balls made. I'm only going to cut these tiny ones, but look how big this one is compared to the other one. It's huge. And we're also going to cut that aluminum foil ball. You don't even realize how big this thing is until you make a new one. This one's decently big and bouncy. Ooh, let's try to do that one thing. Oh. 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 All right, now thousand degree knife. Let's go. Little ball first. Oh, it's splitting. <gasps> That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Now for the bigger ball. Then the aluminum ball. I gave the knife as much fire as possible and then took it against the rubber band ball. Holy cow. Oh gosh. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> oh, it's smoking. 
Oh, it was like one of those things where you get like at the fireworks store, like a snake that folds out. Oh, chef, chef. Well, chef. Bone appetit. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's not doing anything. It's hard enough to melt this table, but not this. I guarantee put it on the band, it's gonna start sizzling. Oh, it's smoking them. Mm. Will it melt my tongue? Mm -hmm. When I put it in the microwave, it like blew up. I figured this would work easy. Ugh, that was a total fail. Oh, that's crazy. Huh, man, that was so real. <laughs> New day, and we have Coke Thick Water, which I've never tried before, but it looks interesting. And just a quick disclaimer, at the time of filming this video, I had no idea it was a problem purchasing this item outside of medical reasons, so don't come for me in the comments. I just saw people feeding it to their dogs on TikTok, so I ordered some on Amazon because I thought it looked cool. Soap, eggs, a Tide Pod, snow, slime, that's it. And we're going to be cutting it all with a thousand degree knife, and also seeing if we can cook one of these eggs. I'm trying this weird water. I saw this stuff on TikTok. And we got another torch. The knife should be able to get even hotter. Sizzles on it. I didn't do much. I got it off the Walmart clearance aisle, so didn't really expect it to be great. Now we're going to switch to the small knife and do the Irish spring soap. I heated up the small knife and then took it against the soap and it was the coolest so far. Oh, holy cow. That is cool. It like bakes the soap. That's wild. It's kind of satisfying. All right. Tide pod. It was sizzling. Boil the tide. Crack an egg on it. And I missed the first egg, but then cracked the other egg onto the thousand degree knife and just let it cook. And it started to sizzle. Cooking eggs. Cooking and after eggs. a bit of waiting, I got impatient. Cook egg. And I just blasted it on there until I had the egg cooked. And there you have a hard boiled, wait, what do they call it? Fried egg. Much faster. Delicious. Heat up, kids. Yeah, I would not eat that. <laughs> New knife versus Diet Coke. Picking it up first. Boiling. That was about expected. This is thick water. Ugh, so weird. I've been seeing TikToks about this stuff. People like feed it to their dogs. You know, I don't even know what this stuff is for. To be honest, pour some on this knife. Sizzle. <laughs> that didn't do anything. And then I decided to try some. I do not recommend trying that. But a lot of you guys were asking me in the comments of my last TikTok. I had this amazing knife throw, right? A lot of people were like, Dylan, teach me how to throw a knife like that. Well, guys, it's pretty simple. Just take your knife and you throw it really hard. I really am just a pro. Just kidding. This literally took like an hour. <laughs> like and subscribe. I'm so cool. Ah.